Coral reefs are essential for marine life survival, which are a major asset to the Malaysian tourism sector and a source of income to local communities. On World Oceans Day, we speak to Associate Professor James Tan, coral ecologist from University Malaysia Trengganu, on what we could do better to protect corals. The coral reef in Malaysia, we are more, uh, what you call that, um, acclimatized to this uh, warmer temperature. But that doesn't mean that we are actually, uh, we, can, we can escape from this uh, bleaching event. Because, you know, based on what we see in the previous you know, mass bleaching event, Malaysia reef, we lost about 5% during each of these uh, uh, bleaching events. 5% of it means that we, we have uh, lost 5% in coral cover. So, which is a lot. So, if you imagine every year, okay, uh, we are losing uh, 1% per year. But in one event, we can lose you know, up to 5% or more during the coral bleaching event. And it is, uh, you know, is creating very big impact for us. Awareness of the importance of coral reefs to local communities and industry players is key in saving marine life. What is important first is actually, you know, we must uh, do a lot of uh, awareness program to educate, you know, the local people all right, about the importance of this uh, coral pepper system because, you know, that is where they earn their living, okay? And then the second thing also, we must also, you know, uh, conduct a marine awareness program to educate the tourists, you know, on any visitors that visit uh, think the island. So what are, why, you know, they need to care about the coral reef and then why, you know, the coral reef is important to them. All right, and then what also we need to do, okay, is actually, you know, if we can have a, a control um, tourist number, for example, you know, to, uh, on, on this uh, different island, okay, what we already seeing a few examples that we have around the world, okay, um, uh, even for example, the, uh, the, the quota that, you know, they put on uh, Sipadan Island, all right, 120 um, divers or, or tourists uh, uh, per day. So something that, you know, uh, along the line, all right, but of course, we, you need to think of, you know, how is it actually impact the local people? Because, all right, in order for a good conservation, okay, to, to be successful, you need the full support from the local people. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 14 highlights the importance of conserving and sustainably using the oceans, seas and marine resources. Dr. James urges the government to step up their efforts and lead the initiatives in achieving these goals. What the government have to do is actually to encourage you know, the private sector, the industry, to follow okay, what the government has said in terms of the goal, like you know, um, to increase uh, the uh, protected area okay, for our Malaysia, uh, to have more uh, marine protected area, uh, marine park, for example. And uh, apart from that, okay, um, I know it has been going for, you know, uh, I think for the past 10 years that you know, the industry, you know, they, create, have, they have this uh, uh, corporate social responsibility program, all right, um, to, to, to help uh, the marine environment. Okay, we are receiving a lot of, you know, uh, what you call that uh, program, you know, or collaboration with the industry on this part. But what, we, what I see over here is um, the industry can play a more important role or more active role in, for example, if they want to uh, help the to, to create more collaboration in research, for example, okay, and um, especially those uh, research related to how can we save the coral reef, okay, and and I believe that okay, um, the university, okay, we are doing research, but you know, with the help of the industry, we can you know uh, even you know to have a, a better product or, or better way forward, okay, uh, to help the coral reef.